Amen. And now, let's go to ways to love our spouse. Because a message of love, not only towards our relationship with God, to Him to us, us, how we love Him, but how we love our spouse as well. However, let each of you love his wife as himself and let the wife see that she respect her husband. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other, not a burden. Why I have this husband? Why I have to submit? Why I have to love him and honor him? It should be your delight. It should be your joy to respect your husband in spite of... Or if you are a um, husband listening to me, you should delight loving your wife in spite of, no? And please put your name instead of love, you put your name. Kathy or Dawn is patient and kind. So be patient and kind with each other like that. Love is not boastful or proud. So put your name there. As I preach, as I teach you, please also meditate on this passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. So refuse to allow the poison of pride to taint our relationship. Love is not self-seeking. Me, me, me. I want this. I want that. So it shouldn't be like that. So choose to put our family needs ahead of your own. What else? Uh, <laughs> naghang. Okay, love is not easily angered. So allow no place for spite or hostility in our home. Love keeps no record of wrong. So allow grace and forgiveness to flow freely. Love rejoices with truth. So refuse to deceive or keep secret from each other. So... Especially when you are a couple, no? Be truthful to one another. Never keep secret. Kasi it's not good for your relationship. Always protect and persevere. So never give up on each other no matter what. Hold on. Even though the other one got tempted or commit something, adultery, pray. That God will redeem your relationship. Never give up on each other. May God help us. It's not easy. But you can do all things through Christ which gives him strength. When you apply God's word, God will enable you, help you, carry you through. Hold on. To God, don't give up on your marriage. Husband, live with your wives in an understanding way. Honor, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel since they are heirs with you of the grace of life so that your prayers may not be hindered. I believe that this, this passage it also applies to us, no? Wives, we need to love live with our husband in an understanding way showing honor to the man because sometimes men are not always strong they also weak at times so that because they are heirs with the grace of life and that also we wives our prayers will not be hindered so the way to show the love your spouse is to communicate and look at them in the eye, no? Not on your gadget. Talaga's quality time. Pray together, read God's word together, hug, cuddle, cherish each other physically, emotionally, and in everything you do. Watch movie together, eat together, sing together, play together, all these things. So I hope we will love our partner while they are still around. Life is short. We never know when is our last. So in spite of, still continue to love. What you saw, you will reap. Let's not give up. In sowing seed of love to our spouse. And also it goes with how we show love 